Okay, so OBS is a free recording software and to start using it you need to go over to sources, click the plus button and select display capture. Click OK and OK again and here is your screen. You can crop it by making it bigger or making it smaller. I'm just going to leave it as it is and then go down to settings and go output and make sure it is on MP4 or movie. I'm going to do movie because it is a much better quality. Then I'm going to go OK. And I'm going to hit start recording. You don't have to stay on the software for it to record. You can go off it. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go down to stop recording. And it's going to automatically save in my desktop or in a folder I've selected it to. Okay, so QuickTime Player is a free recording software that all Mac devices will have apart from iOS, sadly. How to use it is down the bottom of the screen, just follow the steps and you'll be able to record your screen and save it for your editing. I made one mistake, not a big one too. To download Wondershare Filmora, click the link in the description and it will take you to here. Make sure you click the Mac one if you're a Mac user and the Windows one if you're a Windows user. And from the website, you can always choose to try it free or you can click buy now and that means you gain access to all the effects available on the software. Click new project and then I'm going to import my clip I'm going to edit. Alright, so before I start editing, I'm going to slow my animation down. So I'm going to start by clicking on my animation and going to the speed button and I'm going to make it 0.5. Now I'm going to add a green screen on top, so I'm going to go over to Elements and I'm going to look down this list and find one that I think will look good. Okay, so I've decided to use Element Hand Drawn 15 and to use it you just need to click on it, double click so it downloads and then just drag it on top of your original clip. Now I want to alter the colour of the original animation clip, so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go over to the colour correction tool. And now I'm going to find a filter that I think looks good with my animation. So I've chosen to use the Walking Dead filter and I'm going to just click OK. Decided I want to add uh, audio to my clip so I'm going to go over to audios and I'm just going to scroll down till I find one that I like the look of. Okay so I've decided to use Summertime. I'm going to put it under my original clip. To clean things up at the end I'm going to select the scissor tool over here and I'm going to go to where I want it to end and I'm just going to click it. Then I'm going to delete the other side of the clip so I've ended it here. I'm going to repeat that with my green screen by clicking that tool and then deleting this clip on the right side. I'm going to save my video. I'm going to go up to export and I click export. To save your video without the watermark, you will have to buy the full version. Wondershare's film stock, more effects and videos, transitions and much more. Look at all the options that have come up. I can use any of these. It's super handy and it will make editing so much cooler in Filmora.
iMovie is a really great editing software for beginners. It's available on laptops and it's also available on iOS devices. Unfortunately, it's not available on Windows or Androids, but if you are an Apple user, you can use the software. It's so easy to use. I'll just give you guys a quick little tutorial on how to use it. All you do is you go over to Create New and then you click Movie. And then you click Import Media and you import your clip that you want to edit. And then you go up to your clip and you click on it and you drag it down to your editing bar. And from there you can use all these effects up here. You can crop the video, speed it up, change the colour, um, slow it down. Once you're done you can save it. Okay, so Final Cut Pro is a Mac users only so editing software but it is such a great software. To use it, I'm just going to go up to this arrow and I'm just going to import my clip. I'm just going to click import selected and then I can just click the X button and I'm going to drag it into my editing bar. And from here I can use any of these cool transitions at the front or I can put a filter on it or effect. So it's super handy. If you want to learn more about it, I suggest watching tutorials online. They will teach you a lot and get you more familiar with using the software. Now you select the file of the video you want to upload. Then you can choose a title for your video, I'm going to name it Video Tutorial and then you can write your description. I normally do a copy and paste one so it's so much easier so I don't have to keep writing it out. So I go into my docs and I copy it and then I paste it here and then you can upload your thumbnail here and if you scroll down you can add it into a playlist and here I normally say no it's not for kids because otherwise comments won't be allowed and a few other features won't be allowed so it's much easier to just say no it's not for kids. And then you can turn on monitorization. I don't know if I said that right, but you can turn it on if you have it enabled. And then you can check all this and, and you can publish it as private, unlisted, members only, public, or you can schedule it. Normally I schedule it and you can put a premiere so your subscribers will know the video is going to be uploaded and sometimes you get more views of that. And yeah, this is how you upload it. It's pretty simple.